last week after our game, I sat here and said I hadn't been through anything like that in my time here. And this week, I could kind of feel the exact same way. Um, you know, we've been beaten, you know, pretty badly by some really good football teams, and uh, but I felt like our team always fought back. You know, always. You know, we talk about it all the time. You get, you know, you get punched, you get hit. You know, you you, you swing back, and uh, very disappointed. And uh, you know that not happy uh, with us, our coaching, our response, the way we played. Um, you know, last week I thought, you know, under all those chaotic circumstances, you know, we played relatively clean, like like we've we've coached them. And uh, today it didn't look like we we're a very well coached team, and it didn't look like a team that that really uh, wanted to respond. And. Uh, you know, no coach speak here. That's that's you know 100% on me. You know, and on us. Um, no excuses. They, uh, you know, they beat us in, in every facet, and and uh, we didn't respond. We didn't play very good. We didn't coach very good, and uh, we have a lot of work to do. And uh, it's up to to our team how we respond and uh, how we bounce back. So I know uh, the coaches will uh, clearly. Uh, put a lot of this on our shoulders. It's on us uh, to get our team to compete at a higher level, to execute with a, with with focus and have some some disciplined execution because there wasn't a lot of that today. And uh, need to get need, need to get back to work. I mean, you know, there's no again, there's no there's no way to sugarcoat it. We got we got our butts beat, and uh, and we'll keep on uh, swinging back. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Are you saying you felt like they quit today? I didn't say that. Okay. That's good. Mark, obviously you had injuries on the offensive line, but really even before that, it seemed like you were getting looked up front. What do you think was happening there? Yeah, great. We we talked about it early and we knew, you know, we watched their game last week and you know we know they have some guys up front that could wreck, you know, some plays. And so um, you know, we were you know we were concerned about that going into it, knowing that we need the chip and you know protect our tackles you know from time to time, and uh, you know so there's things you know we could do better with that. There's you know we have to play better. I thought you know full disclosure like some calls I wish we could do over again as well. Some reads, you know we talked about not getting the ball in the perimeter early and letting those guys get up the field and and. Uh, you know, hit big tackles for loss. I think, you know, that's, you know, on me again, I got to reemphasize that when we run it for nine yards on the first down and second and one, I'd like to go that way again. You know, I'd like to go forward and not sideways. And, uh, you know, we go backwards and lose seven yards and there goes a the possession. Mark, you know, it's just things of that nature that really, you know, that that's on me. And I got to do a better job. I'm sorry. I was going to ask, was getting yeah. Gavin there when that when he when he did? Was that more about giving the offense a spark or just trying to take hits off of Brock? Yeah, I think uh, both. Uh, Brock took a shot uh, on the shoulder down there on, on one of those plays, and then just just trying to get Gavin some reps. We wanted to get him last week as well, and and uh, just just get him in there. I mean, uh, clearly we were having a hard time with pass protection, and so Gavin could uh, scramble a little bit as well, and. Uh, and be dual threat. So, could you, yeah. could you see Brock kind of shaken up by that pressure and have you try to really? Well, yeah, up? I don't know. If, I don't know if it just, just shaken up, but they clearly affected the quarterback, and that's a good job by them, you know, and and, and not good enough by us. So I wouldn't put it on him personally, but I would credit them. They certainly disrupted uh, him and, and his comfort level, and uh, that's what you're looking for on defense. Is, is affecting the quarterback, whether it's multiple looks, certainly pressure and mixing things up. And, uh, you know, they, they, they affected them. Mark, was there any common thread on the long coverages on those long passes? Yeah, uh, there was. There was, uh, you know, two, two of them. Uh, the, the second, the one late, again, no excuse because we already seen it and corrected it and uh, didn't get it done. And, uh, you know, that that's the only complete blown coverage. Other ones that the same routes they they they, they drained us out of some zones and uh, you know, just didn't play very good. There seemed to be a lot of optimism in the preseason about the offensive line. Was there a disconnect between what you all saw 
ahead of the season and what, what happened today? We, we, did, we didn't play good enough today, period. You know, and I'm not going to put it all on the offensive line, but they didn't, they didn't play good enough. And, uh, and what, I could probably say that about, about every group. You know, so we are in, in this together, and every, every group uh, you know, needs to play at a higher level, and they certainly do. Mark, considering what everybody saw today, do you believe all of these problems are fixable going forward? Uh, they're going to have to be. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to we're going to get it fixed. You know, and I told the team that. You know, that we're going to have total buy-in. Uh, guys are going to get to work, and and they they better come Monday, you know, ready to to, to compete and, uh, and and fight and get better and pay attention to details and, and little things and. Uh, you know, if you, if you continue to strain and work, then, then good things will happen. You know, I, I, I did not see that, uh, you know, effort like that. And I, I didn't like our response. And, uh, you know, certainly we got to do our part on the coaching end to put them in a position to be more successful. Mark, the decision to go for it on that fourth down, yeah. what went into your thought process? How do you think that impacted Yeah, you? I think that was a bad uh, bad decision, you know, obviously. You know, when it doesn't work, it's a, it's a real bad decision. And I probably pressed a little bit there, you know, honestly. Just a little frustrated, you know, uh, we're, we weren't moving the ball very good. Um, but, you know, it cost us three points and, uh, you know, probably wasn't a very good decision. Um, it was, you know, yeah. Mark, this... This happens early in the season. This is just game two and number one team in the country is on their way in. What's the message to the team to try to get them to respond better after a yeah, game? Yeah, I mean, just, just, you know, in, in so many words, what I talked to you guys about. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we, we're going to respond. You know, when people hit us, we're going to hit back. And I didn't, I didn't feel uh, the, the edge and the attitude and the, and the fight that we normally play with. But again, all, all that stuff, I mean, it, it comes down to discipline and execution. You know, everybody, you have to strain, you have to play hard, but that's during the week. That's in the little details and in, in, in doing things right and, in, you know, being mentally strong and physically strong and, and, um, and, and then, then compete when we're out there. You know, you don't know what's going to happen come game time. Wild things happen, you have to respond. And uh, we didn't respond very well today. Mark, how surprised were you by just the amount of penalties you guys committed today? Pardon me? How surprised were you by the amount of penalties you guys committed? Yeah, again, I uh, didn't see that coming. Um, mm -hmm. ha hasn't been our nature to have that many. And uh, it just goes to show you how, how, uh, how, how undisciplined we were today. The holdings on the offensive line, is, was there a disconnect with cohesion there with that unit, or was that the effort that you're talking about just getting beat on? I mean, it, yeah, I mean, no excuses. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see uh, exactly what it was, and, uh, you know, whoever's in there at whatever time, it doesn't matter about cohesion. And, you know, we, we have to execute better, we got to block better, we got to strain, we got to do things better. Mark, is there an update on Jagger you can share with us? Uh, Jagger was not available, and uh, he, he was out in this game, so. You know, you look forward to it, it'll probably be up, tough for him to get back by next week. Mark, being in South Carolina in 2014, that's kind of a win that could help build this program. You know, went on to win five straight, but the last three years, you all fallen short. Where do you feel like needs to change to gain momentum back in the series? Um, you know, it's hard. Like I said, it's always year to year with us. And, uh, you know, it's hard for me to look back to last year, the year before. I mean, you know, win or lose. I said that to you guys, what, Monday? You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it, it's an individual basis. I thought they did a nice job of responding, and, and you know that they, they, they maybe didn't. Um, you know, they felt like last week they could play better, and they came in here and played a heck of a lot better. And we need to do the same. You know, I thought they did a nice job of, of cleaning things up and, and played uh, you know very good football today and, and beat us. You had that nice sustained drive in the first half. I think you ran the ball 11 times in, in a row. When the offense is clicking, is that the type of tempo that, that you had envisioned? Yes, but we need to be, you know, more balanced. You know, at that point, you know, we, we were running it. We were running it downhill and we were getting some yards and, uh, and um, you know, but the balance wasn't there. You know, we, we have to be able to protect. And, uh, and throw the ball. We were, you know, efficient doing that to this point, but not today. I know Brock didn't get helped up by the O-line, but bouncing back for him, what does that look like for him? What does he need to do? No, I'm, I'm sure Brock will bounce back. I mean, he, he's tough, he's resilient, and, uh, 
you know, he'll, he'll, he'll compete, I, I know that. And we have to do a good job of putting them in position to be successful. We've got to give them some time. We've got to make sure we're doing things uh, to give them an opportunity. Mark, the play early where you were talking about going sideways instead of forward, it looked like Brock had kept that. He had several yards. Was that the wrong read or the wrong play? Yeah, it was the wrong read. Yep. Yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth either, but are, are you implying that it was an effort issue today? I, I, I you know, I, I don't know, I stand by what I said. You know, I don't want, I don't, I don't need to put a headline out there. I'm not real happy with the way we played. I'm not real happy with the way we coached. I'm not real happy with the way we responded. You know, the way we executed our effort, any of it. It's not good enough. It's not, not acceptable. And you put so much emphasis on how the team performs on Saturday is based on how they do during the week. In hindsight, is there anything looking back on the buildup that, that you can really put your finger no, on? No, no, that's, that's what's crazy. No, I felt like this week was cleaner, a little more focused than last week. You know, but, you know, and, and again, no, no, no excuse whatsoever. But th this felt like game one. You know what I mean? Where you walk out there and you don't know what, you know, like there were things that happened today that, that I can't explain. Uh, despite the loss, uh, Demi Sumo Conde uh, um, had, had a pretty decent game, uh, rushed for 70 yards, had a few solid runs. Uh, what do you have to say about him and uh, the impact uh, he's had so far? Yeah, Demi is a guy that, that again, he's been very steady. He's been, he's, he, he works hard. He, he ran uh, the ball very tough today and had some tough yards. So. Um, I think we were efficient at time running the ball down downhill, but um, we have to get the balance that I talked about. You know, when you drop back to pass, you have to be able to protect, get the ball down the field, and you know when you when you can run the ball downhill, it's going to open up some play action if you could get it protected. Mark, how do you feel about your offensive line depth? It felt like that drive where Mincy was out it was particularly an issue, no. especially if Jagger can go. How do you feel about? Yeah, I mean, it, it, guys are going to have to step up. Bottom line. You know, we need some guys to improve and get better. I mean, I think I think we all know that we we're, we need to continue to build our depth at the offensive line, and uh, it's a big point of emphasis for us. Anyone else? Okay. Hey, there, there was a couple times where Brock was like throwing his hands up before the snap, almost like he was kind of confused with maybe what the play call was. How do you feel like that communication was this game? Because I know the last game he kind of said at the beginning of the game, communication took a second. Uh, you know, I'm sure there were, there were, you know, some issues, as I said, that, you know, across the board. I mean, there was, there were some problems out there. So um, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what play you're referring to. Okay, folks, thank, thank you very you. much. You got uh, pleasure.